Welcome back to KCTV English News. I'm Jared Collette. The third case of COVID-19 in Jeju has been confirmed eight days after the island's second patient tested positive for the virus. According to the provincial government, the third patient is a 48-year-old female living in Daegu City. She visited the island on February 23rd via Tiwei Air and has stayed at an acquaintance's home in Hamdokli, Jochongo. She has shown symptoms of congested nasal passages and a hoarse voice. She was tested for the virus after hearing the news that her mother had tested positive for COVID-19. Her acquaintance has shown no symptoms so far and is being tested for the virus. The province is conducting an epidemiological investigation to find out her travel routes and people who may have come in contact with her. Five spots where she visited are closed, and 11 people who contacted her are self-quarantined. The local government is also investigating the relationship between her and the Shincheonji Church of Jesus. So far in Jeju, a soldier and an employee of Wee Hotel were confirmed to be COVID-19 patients. Ko Yu Jong, who was sentenced to life in prison in her first trial for her ex-husband's murder, has appealed the ruling of the local court. According to the Jeju District Court, Ko submitted an appeal through her lawyer on the 27th, expressing that the first trial ruling was unfair. In the first trial, Ko was sentenced to life imprisonment for the murder of her ex-husband, and she was acquitted of the murder of her stepson due to lack of evidence. To prevent the spread of the COVID-19 infection, the Jeju Christian Council has decided to convert all church services online or into family services by March 8th. The Christian Council announced that they delivered an emergency letter to 460 churches in the province. The Council also stressed that all activities such as small group gatherings, visits, and meetings that are currently in place should be kept under constant restraint. In addition, personal hygiene management, such as wearing masks and hand sanitization, must be strictly enforced. Due to the spread of COVID-19, flights between Jeju and Pohang in Gyeongsangbuk-do province have been suspended. According to the airline industry, Korean Air, which is currently the only airline operating on the Jeju-Pohang route, has suspended flights for a month until March 28th. This is a temporary suspension due to the spread of COVID-19, and future flights are expected to be determined by conditions related to COVID-19. After the COVID-19 outbreak, the boarding rate for Jeju and Pohang flights has been around 10%. A number of executives from the Jeju Council of Economic Organizations, including their chairman, Kim Dae-hyung, held a press conference in the Jeju Provincial Government's press room on the morning of the 28th, stressing that amid growing difficulties in the local economy from COVID-19, building owners and businessmen will take the lead in adopting a campaign to lower rents. They also announced that they plan to join a campaign to minimize damages for businesses due to the recent turmoil from the cancellation or postponement of various events such as weddings. The council has asked Jeju Island to support small businesses and self-employed people. They have also encouraged residents to use local products and revive neighborhood businesses. The Jeju Provincial Police has caught a Chinese man on suspicion of purchasing large volumes of health masks with the intention of selling them in China. The man bought 6,000 health masks last month for 11 million won in cash and tried to export them to China. Due to an export ban, he kept them for an extended period of time and was selling them through various Korean internet sites. In an effort to prevent market manipulation, mask vendors with businesses that are registered for less than two months must sell their products within 10 days from the date of purchase. He had broken this requirement. The police seized 2,400 masks from him. Demand for COVID-19 testing has been soaring, as hundreds of worshippers of Shincheonji Church of Jesus have been infected with the virus. The province has added six more facilities that can collect clinical specimens to the existing seven separate clinics and allocated more workers to the facilities. Todd Thacker reports. This is a separate medical facility for potential COVID-19 patients at the Jeju City Public Health Center. A newly purchased X-ray generator will serve to test for the virus. Previously, only seven medical facilities on the island, including one at Jeju National University Hospital, could collect clinical specimens. Now this is possible at other public health centers. As increasing numbers of COVID-19 cases are confirmed across the nation, demand for testing has soared. 
The province has added six public health centers to the list of dedicated clinics. Now, the island has 13 facilities that can take specimens from potential patients. Additionally, the province has trained 37 medical workers to implement the test. More than 600 tests for the deadly virus have been administered in Jeju since January 29th. That's nearly 22 tests per day. Right after Jeju's two consecutive COVID-19 cases were confirmed, more than 140 individuals sought testing in a single day. Members of the Shincheonji Church of Jesus have significantly added to the workload. More medical facilities and technicians are needed to keep up with testing. The Jeju Public Health and Environment Research Institute, which is responsible for analyzing specimens and diagnosing the virus, is on 24-hour duty. Four employees from the Jeju Ocean and Fisheries Research Center and the Jeju Animal Hygiene Laboratory are also assigned to the institute. Testing capacity has increased to handle up to 100 individual specimens a day. In preparation for any potential mass infection scenarios, the institute has purchased a specimen analyzing machine and has diagnostic reagents and kits for 500 specimens at the ready. Todd Thacker, KCTV. Beauty National Park is showcasing plum blossom flowers. Enjoy a unique and modern take on the works of Van Gogh at the Bunker des Lumières. Masks are mandatory for entrance. The morning low in Jeju City will be 6 and the afternoon high 13 degrees. Down south in Sogipo, temperatures will fall between 7 and 14. The low before lunch in Songsan will be 4 and the high in the afternoon 14 degrees. Across the island in Gosan, a low of 5 in the morning, warming up to a high of 12 degrees. Up on the mountain at Songpanak, the morning low is at 1 degree, and topping off at 8 degrees in the afternoon. Out on the water, winds will be out of the north by northeast at a speed of 8 to 13 meters per second and waves between 1 and 2.5 and meters. And here's a look at the extended forecast. Thank you for joining us today at KCTV English News. You can follow us on YouTube at KCTV E News Jeju and on KCTV's VOD service. See you all again here tomorrow.